So today we're doing just more word problems with the trig. So again, we're going to be using SOKATOA. And the S stands for sine. Sine is always opposite over hypotenuse. That's how you set up your fraction. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay? All right. Couple things to know, and I've drawn it in. So let's say you've got a person on a boat right here, and they're looking up to the top of the tower. This angle right here is called the angle of elevation, okay? If you have a person on top of the tower looking down at the boat, this angle right here is called the angle of depression. Notice it's on the outside of the triangle. Do you see that the angle of depression is on the outside of the triangle? Okay. The biggest mistake that students make is they put the angle of depression right there. Okay. Actually, if the angle of elevation, let's just say it's 40, um, what would this angle be? 40. Both of these would be 40. What are they? Alternate interior. So, the angle of elevation and the angle of depression are congruent, but they mean two different things, right? Angle of elevation if somebody's looking up, angle of depression if somebody's looking down, okay? All right, so let's look at number one. Um, you got a closed circuit television camera mounted on a wall. They've already drawn a picture of it, which is really nice. It says find the angle of depression from the camera lens to the entrance door around to the nearest tent. Okay, so this is what we're trying to find. All right, technically speaking, the angle of depression is right there. Okay, like if on a test, if it said where is the angle of depression, it's where I put the X. Do you all agree with that? Yeah. Okay, now, if this is X, where else could I put the X? right here because these are alternate interior angles okay so the reason I'm putting X right here is because of what we learned yesterday where we can use Sokotoa this one is opposite adjacent or hypotenuse opposite okay go all the way across that's opposite what about 9.3 adjacent okay so I go back up here and look I've got O and A that means I use tangent you always write your angle next. What is our angle? X. X equals opposite over adjacent. Okay? All right, what are we trying to solve for? X. What's, how do I get rid of tangent? Inverse it. Okay, you don't divide by tan. You have to do the inverse. So inverse tan... 7.4 divided by 9.3. Good, I hear calculators getting out. Don't forget, you've got to make sure you're in degree mode. So when you hit the mode button, it should be in degree. So I'm going to do second tangent. So that I can make the screen brighter. All right, second tangent, what do we say it was? 7.4 divided by 9.3, and what do you get? 38.5. 38.5 what? Degrees. Okay, so that's your answer. Okay. Number two, the world's longest escalator is in Leningrad Underground and Lenin Square. The escalator has an angle of elevation of 10.36 degrees and a vertical rise of 195.8 feet. Find the length of the escalator round to the nearest tenth. Okay. All right, so think about when you go to a mall, an escalator, does it go straight up or at an angle? An angle. Yeah, Taylor? Um, why can't you divide by the tangent? Because... Because the tangent has the X in it. Yes. Um, when you say tangent 53, this is the one case in math, this does not mean tangent times 53. Normally, if I have something like this, 53X, in math that means 53 times X, right? So the opposite of times is division. This does not mean times. This means tangent of 53. You're taking the tangent of this angle. 
So if I have tangent x, these aren't being multiplied, so you can't divide. This is tangent of x, so in order to reverse the tangent, we have to inverse it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if I have tangent and then I do the inverse of it, tangent inverse and tangent cancel each other out. Okay. All right. Um, so we got an escalator. It's on an angle. Um, we know the angle of elevation is 10.36. Remember, angles of elevation go inside the triangle at the bottom. So that's 10.36 degrees. All right, vertical rise. Vertical means straight up and down. Where's my straight up and down line? On this side, so 195.8. And what are we trying to find? The length of the escalator. Where's that? The hypotenuse. Very good. Okay. All right, always look at your angle to help you. So if you start at your angle, this one is the opposite this one is hypotenuse which one is o and h sine you write sine then you always write the angle next equals opposite over hypotenuse 195.8 over x if x is in the denominator you need to butterfly or some of y'all do it a different way which is fine but that gives you x sine 10.36 equals 195.8. And then what do you have to do last? Divide by sine 10.36. Okay. You might got the answer. Do you all agree with that? <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Questions? All right, what's well, my read number three, please? So, I don't know if any of y'all watch America's Funniest Home Videos, but this is a popular one where people put the board on the back of the truck to drive up their four-wheeler, and then what happens is they start to put their four-wheeler on there. Yeah, it snaps, and then, you know, they fly off. So, they're making a ramp. They put a board up to the back of their truck. So, where does... This is representing the what? What is this? This is the... That's the board, okay? That's the board. And then this is the distance between the, because this is the truck, and this is the ground, okay? All right, so the board is how long? Eight. The bed of the truck is three feet above the ground, so your three goes here. And what are you trying to find? Between the board and the ground. So where does that go? The bottom left between the board and the ground is right here okay all right this one is what uh-huh opposite and hypotenuse so that is sine sine of x equals three over eight okay and to isolate x you have to do inverse sine okay And this one says round to the nearest whole number. What you got? 22. 22 degrees. Okay. All right, what's well, my read for? Uh huh. Roy drove his boat from the dock due north for six miles. He then turned and drove the boat due west for about eight miles and dropped anchor. Approximately <coughs> how many miles from the dock did Roy drop anchor? Thank you. So here's Roy. Here's where he starts. What does Roy do? So where is north? Up. So he goes six miles north. Then when he's here, he goes west, which is 
right? This way. How long does he go? Eight, okay? Then he drops his anchor, so he stops, okay? What's the question asking? How many miles from the dock? Where is that where he started? So they want to know mm -hmm, the hypotenuse, okay? Do I use sine, cosine, or tangent? No. Very good. You don't use any of those. I don't use sine, cosine, or tangent. Very good. You did the Pythagorean theorem, okay? When you're trying to find a length of the outside, if all you have is lengths, do I have any angles? No, so that's Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay. What goes in for A? 6. What goes in for B? And C is always your hypotenuse, so we don't know what C is. Okay. 6 squared 36 <coughs> plus 8 squared 64 is 100. And then you have to get rid of your square. Square root. So C is 10. All right, number five, will somebody read it, please? A person is 200 yards from a river. Rather than walk directly to the river, the person walks 400 yards along the straight path to the river bed. Find the acute angle, is that theta? Yeah. Theta the, between the, this path and the river bed. Okay, so really got to draw some pictures because they get really confusing. A person is 200 yards from a river. So I have a river, and I have a person. And I know they are 200 yards from the river. Do you, does that make sense so far? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Rather than walk directly to the river, so they're not they're not walking straight to the river. All right. They're not walking directly to the river. What are they doing? They're walking diagonal. They're walking diagonal. Very good. The person walks 400 yards along. A sh it is a straight path, but it's not a direct one. So here's a straight line that's not direct. That's a diagonal line. Very good. What number do I put on it? 400. Find the angle between this path. This is the path they were taking and the river's edge. So that's the angle I'm trying to find. Does anybody need me to explain that again? Okay, so um, this one is the what? Opposite, and this one is the hypotenuse. So sine of x equals 200 over 400. How do you isolate x? Inverse sine. What you got? All right, well, somebody read six, please. In man, oh, at its top or zenith, if the vertices are 75 feet horizontally away from the man and 40 feet in the air, what is the angle of elevation down to the nearest hundred? Okay, so you have a man. He's looking up at a flock of geese. got to be in art in high school. Um, okay, if the birds are 75 feet horizontal, horizontal means it has to be perfectly straight across. So can 75 go on the diagonal? No. no. 75 has to go on the horizontal line. Horizontal line means it has to be straight across, okay? Where does 40 go? On a straight up. They're 40 feet in the air, so that's going to be straight up and down, okay? What is the angle of elevation? That goes in there, okay? Okay, so what do we have? Because this one is opposite, this one is adjacent, okay? So that's tangent. Tangent of x equals... Over 75. Is, what? Is it the, like, the 
opposite is always on the top <coughs> of the fraction, and the hypotenuse is always on the bottom, and the adjacent just falls into wherever, whatever's left between those two. If you have the opposite and the adjacent, the adjacent goes on the Yes, bottom. yes, yes. All right, so inverse tangent, what do you got? All right, it says round to the nearest hundredth. So you gotta go two decimal places, 28.07. Okay, thank you, degrees. Okay, well somebody read seven. You are standing <laughs> in the basement of the Empire State Building. Keep going. Thank you. All right, what do we need to do? Draw a picture. You are standing 45 meters from the base of a building. So here's me. I'm standing 45 meters from the base of a building. Okay. All right. You estimate that the angle of, all of elevation to the top of the 86th floor is 82 degrees. Are you drawing it all the way to the top? No, you're only going to the 86th floor, so you're only going part way up. You're not drawing it to the top. And what is your angle? 82 degrees, okay? The total height of the building is another 103 meters above the 86th floor. Where do I put the 123? Right here, right? Okay, so this is 123, this little distance right here. So it's 123 to the top, okay? All right, what are they asking for? Yo, sorry, first question is what is the height of the building, okay? If I put X here, do I have enough information to find X? <coughs> And then what can I do to get my final answer for the height of the building? Add 123. Okay, so let's do that. So this is opposite and adjacent. Which one is that? Tangent. Okay, so tangent of 82. You always write your angle next. Opposite is x over 45. How do I get x by itself on this one? Multiply by 45. Okay. All right, what do you get x to be? All right, 320.19. That's this distance right here, 320.19. I now have to add 123. So the height of the building is 443.19. That's the height of the building. Okay. All right. Then when it says one of your friends is on the 86th floor, so here's your friend right here. What is the distance between you and your friend? What do we have to find? The hypotenuse. Okay, here's the distance between you and your friend. Well, let's call that Y. Let's use the original two numbers they gave us. So 45 is still what? Adjacent, what is Y? Hypotenuse. Which one is A and H? Cosine. cosine. So cosine of 82. Which one goes on top? 45 or Y? 45. 45. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. All right. Multiply by Y and then divide both sides by cosine 82. Okay. All right. So what is 45 divided by cosine 82? Three hundred and twenty-three point three. So that's how far you are from your friend. It doesn't say, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Yep. We did. Yep, that's what we did. Oh, you're saying can you do Pythagorean theorem? 
You can, yes. Uh huh. Yes, you can. Yep. Okay. Um, number eight. All right, read eight for me, please, somebody. A six, to a six foot tall person walks from the base of a broadcasting tower directly toward the tip of the shadow cast by the tower. When the person is 132 feet from the tower and three feet from the tip of the shadow, the person's shadow starts to appear beyond the tower shadow. What is the height of the tower? Uh, All right. A six foot tall person walks from the base of a tower directly towards the tip of the shadow. Okay? Here's a tower. Where's the shadow going to be? On the ground. Okay? All right. So the person starts at the building and they walk towards the tip of the shadow. Okay? When the person is 132 feet from the tower, so here's the person. When they're 132 feet from the tower, they're three feet from the tip of the shadow, so there needs to be a three here, okay? All right, what is the height of the tower, okay? Is there any other piece of information that I haven't written in. He's six foot tall. So this is six right here. This is six, because the person's actually standing on top of the ground. I didn't draw it very good. The person's standing on top of the ground. This is six. I can't find X yet. What do I need to find? Does anybody see? I can't find the hypotenuse either yet. Okay, so you could find the hypotenuse of the, but it wouldn't help you, but you could also find the angle. angle. So I'm going to put a Y right here. I'm going to find this angle just using the smaller triangle. So what side is the six? Opposite, and the three is adjacent, so that is tangent. Tangent y equals 6 over 3. How do you get rid of tangent? Inverse. So what do you get the angle to be? Sixty three point four. Okay. All right. I still have to find x. Now I'm going to look at the big triangle. x is opposite. And then down here at the bottom, if you look at the big triangle, okay, so um, we're still doing opposite and adjacent, so we're still doing tan. What do I know y is now? Mm -hmm. And opposite is x. How long is the adjacent side of the big triangle? 135, okay. And then you would multiply both sides by 135. I got 269.6. Okay. All right. That is the height of the tower. Okay. Questions? All right. Last one. Number nine. Let somebody read it. In traveling across flat land, you notice the mountain directly in front of you. Its angle of elevation to the peak is 3.5 degrees. After you start 13 miles closer to the mountain, the angle of elevation is 9 degrees. Approximate the height of the mountain. Okay, um, you're traveling across flat land, you notice a mountain, so you're looking up, okay? The angle of elevation is 3.5, okay? <laughs> then what happens? So it's 13 this whole bottom part? No. Okay, after you drive 13 miles, then what? The angle of elevation is 9. Okay? <coughs> All right, and what are we trying to find? The height. The height. Okay? So we can mark this again. Okay? All right, 
So if I just look at the small triangle, do I have enough information to do anything? No. If I look at the big triangle, do I have enough information to do anything? No, because it's 13 this whole side. No, okay? All right, what am I going to have to find? Well, anybody know what I'm going to have to do? You have nine right here. Yeah. But you find this one right here. Um, what the opposite of it is like nine, like 180 minus nine, find that side, and then you can find the angle right here. Yeah, but it still wouldn't give you enough. But that's a very good thinking. All right, you're going to have to put a Y here. And we're going to have to set up two different equations. Okay? So let's look at the little triangle first. We have opposite and adjacent. Right? Opposite and adjacent. Which one am I using? Tan. So tan of, what do I write next? Nine, Nine equals x over, y. x over y. OK? Tangent of 9 equals x over y. Let's look at the big triangle. Again, I have opposite and adjacent, so I use tangent. Tangent of 3.5 x over All right, so there's a long way to do it by hand. You could also use Desmos. In order to Desmos, you have to solve both of them for y. So if you multiply this one by y, then you would have to do what? Divide. So y equals x over tan 9. Do you agree with that? Is there a tan Yep, okay. y equals x over tan 9. For this one, you would multiply by 13 plus y. Divide by tan 3.5. So then you're left with 13 plus y equals x over tan 3.5. And then what else do you have to do? Subtract 13. All right, so basically we have a system, and I'll go back to that in a minute. Um, all right, so we have x over, you just type in tangent of 9. That was one equation. What was the other one? x over tangent of 3.5 minus 13, okay? And I want to know where they intersect, okay? And it said, what is the height of the mountain? What letter do we use for height of the mountain? X. So the answer is 1.3, if you round it. Yeah. Yes. Guys, you have to hit this tool, and you have to make sure it's in degrees. If you're doing it on your phone, go make sure it's in degree. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, look, that looks more like it. Um, I heard Lucas say, I did the same thing when I was working this problem out. I was like, uh oh, I've done something wrong. A height of a mountain can't be 1.3, but it's 1.3 miles. Okay, so a mountain can be 1.3 miles high. It's a short it is. Okay. Um, so put it in Desmos.